Today I'm going to show you how to do easy captioning and subtitles just like this right inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's jump right in. The first step in this is completing your edit. I've got a short video here with a voiceover for one of my Instagram pages and I'm happy with the edit. So now it's time to do the captioning. So go ahead and navigate over to the text panel and then inside the text panel there's a transcript tab. Let's click on create transcription. Now I have my voiceover on track two here, so let's make sure we select that. Our voiceover is English, and let's click transcribe. Now in the background, Adobe Premiere Pro is going to look at this footage and transcribe it. Now if you have good audio, I found really good success with this. I'd say about 95% of the words are correct, but you're gonna wanna make sure you go in and check the transcription when you're done. So all I see is just a few spots where it didn't realize it was the end of the sentence so we can just easily fix that okay so our transcription looks great now now it's the time to create those subtitles back in our text tab we're going to click on this cc icon it's going to give you a few different options and how to sequence the captions i like the captions relatively fast paced so what i like to do is set our maximum length in characters anywhere from 21 to like 27 characters set the minimum duration all the way to the left and then the gap between the captions leave at zero. I prefer to using single line, so we'll click on that. Now, if you've already created a style for your text, you can actually select it right here and it will apply that to these captions. But for the sake of this video, we'll show you how to do that in just a bit. So let's go ahead and click on create now. And then at the top, above the video tracks is a new caption layer. This is gonna hold all our captions here. and. Since we didn't have a style on it, you can see it just kind of defaulted to a standard text at the bottom here. Now you could just export your video like this if you like that simple caption style, but let's show you how to do a more trendy style like you might see on TikTok or Instagram Reels. So let's go ahead and first let's select one of our captions. And then on the right side in the essential graphics panel, we're gonna have a whole bunch of options that we can adjust. Now for trending caption styles, I'd stick to a sans serif type font. Um, I'm gonna use Poppins for this example, but I'll put on the screen a few more fonts that were great for this caption style. So now that we've changed the font, let's position our captions and make them a little bit bigger. Go ahead and click on the text in there. Let's center align this to our box and then make sure we have center aligned text. And I like to adjust this text style. Depending on your content, you're gonna wanna move it around, but I like to keep it kind of one third of the way up there and then make sure this box doesn't go really any farther than this. When you're viewing these videos on a phone, especially like a modern phone that's actually a little bit more narrow, TikTok and Instagram, they'll actually punch in on the content. So it's gonna crop on the right and left side of the videos. So, so it's important to keep those captions quite a bit away from the side because you also have the icons like the like button, the follow buttons there, but keep it in this general area and you should be good. So let's make this text a little bit bigger. We're just gonna make it, we're gonna zoom up here. I think we can go a little bit wider here. 65 is usually a good size for this font. Now, there's a few different styles you could do. Sometimes I like to add a black stroke. Usually make it pretty thick so it can stand out on any type of content. You could also do a background where you do a solid background that is fully black. Just this, you can add some padding right here. And then another style you could do is adding a drop shadow. And this is actually pretty popular with the stuff you might see on TikTok. Just adjust this so the shadow is quite apparent. So something like this is gonna pop out pretty quickly. But we'll keep with a stroke style. That's my favorite here. So I'm happy with this text style for a base of it. Let's create a preset for this so that we can easily apply it to all of our other ones. So in the track style, just go ahead and click on none here and click create style, name it whatever you want. And then we can select the rest of the captions and then apply this new style to them. Now, if we scroll through our video here, we're gonna see that it all looks the same here and looks really nice. Now we got the base of our captions. Let's add some colors for some emphasis and to make it easier to read. Okay, so for this sentence, let's say I wanna highlight easy runs right here. We'll just click on the text tool, drag it here, 
And let's change it to like kind of a palish yellow that's pretty popular on social media. So something like that. We could also do something like a pale green. Uh, blue is also popular too. So just experiment here. Go ahead and do that to the rest of your video. At the end, it's gonna look like something like this. You can see we have color throughout there emphasizing certain words. And this really helps it pop on screen and helps someone more easily consume this content, especially if their audio is off. Now to export your captions, if you're using the caption track, make sure when you go to the export options, you have burn captions in the videos turned on. So that's how to easily add captions and subtitles using Adobe Premiere Pro. If your business is using any sort of short form content, definitely consider adding captions. It's an easy way to increase the engagement and get more people watching your videos. My name is Rob Devroy. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, make sure to comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you wanna see more videos on video marketing, YouTube and strategy for businesses, make sure to follow and subscribe to us. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.